Finnegan's Wake by James Joyce. Book One, Chapter One. River Run, past eaves and atoms from swerve of shore to bend of bay, brings us by a commodious vicus of recirculation back to Howth Castle and environs. Sir Tristram, the Earl de Amour, for over the short sea, had Passancor re arrived from North America, on this side the scraggy isthmus of Europe Minor to wielder fight his pencilit war. Nor had Top Sawyer's rocks by the stream openly exaggerated themselves. To Lawrence County's Gorgios, while they went to Dublin their mumper all the time, nor a voice from afar bellows mish mish to tof tof throut Petrick, not yet. Though Venison, after, had a kid's cat but ended a bland old Isaac, not yet. Though all's fair and vanity, where Sozy Sethers wroth with Twone, Nathan Joe, wrought a peck of pa's malt, had Jem or Shan brewed by Arclight and Rory, end to the riggin brow was to be seen ringsome on the aqua face. The fall. Ba 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 dal gararaka tak mangirak um brunt tunur ron tu tuan ton travavar ton skon tu hu hurden en turnak. Of a one small straight old par is retailed early in bed and later on life down through all Christian minstrel sea. The great fall of the off wall entailed at such a short notice. The fifth shoot of Finnegan, heir's solid man, that the humpty hillhead of himself promptly sends an unquiring one well to the west in quest of his tumpty tum toes. And their upturned bike point in place is the knockout in the park, where oranges have been laid to rust upon the green. Since Devlin's first loved Livy. What clashes here of wills, gin wants, oystery gods, gag and fishy gods, rekek, kek, 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 quacks, 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 ualu, 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 quaulu, where the Ballerie's partisans are still out to math master Malachus McGrain's, and the Verdon's catapulting the cannibalistics out of the oot boos of hoodie head. Sea gates and boomerang strums, sods brew beamy fear. Sangler and Save, arms appeal with larms, appalling. Killy, kill, killy, a toll, a toll. What chance cuddlies, what cashels aired and ventilated? What by dime to loves, sin induced by the to go to bass alvers? What true feeling for theirs, hair, with that strong. Voice of false Jacob, oh hear, hear! How hath sprout met the dust, the fathers of fornication is but oh my shining stars and body! How hath vain spanned most high heaven, the sky side of soft advertisement? But was is Isut, Erwer Sewers, the oaks of old? Now they lie in peat, yet elms leap where asks lay. Fall if you will. Rise if you must, and no so soon either shall the farce for the nuns come to the set down secular fuinush. Bike Mr. Finnegan, of the stuttering hand, Freeman's Mower, lived in the broadest way imaginable in his rush lit too far back for massages, where Joshua and judges had given us numbers, or Helveticus committed Deuteronomy. One yeasty day he sternly struck his teat in a tub. For to watch the future of his fates, but ere he swiftly stuck it out again, by the might of Moses, the very water was evaporated, and all the Gwenises had met their exodus, so that ought to show you that a pen shall chuchi chap he was, and during mighty odd years this man of hard cement and edifices and topers thought piled buildum supra buildum pon the Banks for the livers by the swangzo. He addled little fifi annie ooped the little crather, 
with her hair and hands, took up your part in her, oft while, balbalous Mithra head, with goodly trowel in grasp, ivor royaled overalls, which he had the too carelyly fancied, like Haran Childeric Egbert, he would caligulate by the multiple cables, the altitude and multitude, until he saw by need light of the liquor where twin twas born. His round head staple of other days to rise in undress, masonry upstand a joy granted. A wall worth of skyscape of moose eyeful hoith and towerly, originating from next to nothing, and celestiating the hymals and all. Hierarch architect tititto loftical. With a burning bush above off its bubble top, and with Lawrence old hoolers glittering up and tumbles of buckets cluttering down. Of the first was he to bear arms in a name, was Sally Bouglau of Riesenborg, his crest of holdry, invert with ancillars, troublant argent, a he goak, porcelain, horrid horned, his scutchdom. Fest. With archer strung, Helio of the second, hooch is for husbandman handling his hoe. Ho, 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 Mr. Finn, you're going to be Minister Finn again. Come day morm and oh, your vine. Send days eve and ah, your vinegar. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Mr. Fun, you're going to be fine again. What then, agent like, brought about, and that trogody thunders day with this municipal sin business? Our cube house still rocks as he a witness to the thunder of his Arafatas, but we hear also through successive ages that Chevy Chorush of uncalified muzzle lenis misselheims that would black guard eyes the white horn ever hurdle turtled out of heaven. Stay us, wherefore, in our search for tightiousness. O oh, sustainer, what time we rise, and when we take up to toothmick, and before we lump down up our own our leather bed, and in the night, and at the fading stars, for a nod to the neighbor is better than a wink to the wapsanti. Other ways, wes ways, like that provost scoffing the dew and the jebel, and the gypsy and sea. Crop herb, the crunch bracken shall decide. Then we'll know if the feast is a fly day. She has a gift of sight on sight, and all casually answers helpers, the dreamy dearie. Heed, heed, it may half be a misfired brick, as some say, as it might have been due to a collapsus of his back promises, as others looked at it. Then extend by now one thousand and one stories, all told of the same, but so sore did A bite, Evie's whole eyed apples, what with Walhall's horrors of Rolls rights. Garhack, stone gins, kistvins, tram trees, fargo ballers, auto kinetons, hippo hobbles, street fleets, torn and taxes, megafog circuses and wards moats and basilicurks and arrow pagods and the hoys and the jolly brew and the peeler in the coat and the mecklenburg bitch bite at his ear and the millenborough barracks and his four old poor courts the boar the moor and his blight back working stacks at twelve pins a dozen and the newbie buses slading along safety first street and the daring jelly bees snooping around tell no tailor's corner and the fumes and the hopes and the strumpy thump of his veals ingenious roam keepers home sweepers dome creepers thrum thrum in fancy mud murmured and all the uproar from all the up of roofs a roof for May and a reef for Hugh Butt under his bridge suits Tony. One warning fill fit to bling full, his howled feeling heavy, his heart it did shake. There was a wall, of course, in erection, dim. He started from the ladder, damn, he was a dud, dumb. Master Batum, master bad time, when a man marries his lute all long. For all the world to see. Shies? 
should she? Maku maku? Or are we dee dee? Ee dee? Of a trying Thursday morning, sobs they sided at Villigan's. Christmas wake, all the hooligans of the nation prostrated in their consternation, and their dual dismally profuse of plethora of ululation. There was plums and grooms and chirps and scythers and raiders and cinnamon too, and all the old giant in with the shout most joviality, agog and magog, and the round of the magrog, to the continuation of that celebration until Hanan ad Hoonigan's extermination. Some in kinking chorus, more can can keening, belling him up and filling him down. He's stiff, but he steady is. Priam Olam, twas he was decent gay laboring youth, sharpen his pillow scone, tap up his beer. Ere where in this horror would ye hear such a dean again, with their deep brow fundings and the dusty fidelios? They laid him broad on Alang last bed, with a bacalypse of finisky for his feet, and a barrow load of Guinness whore his head, tea the tootle of the fluid hang, twaddle of the fuddled, oh her rather is but young glee for the owl, globe wheels in view, which is tautologically the same thing, well, him being so on the flounder of his bulk, like an overgrown babbling, let we peep see at hum, well, see, peedy ought he ought, Ladder plate hum, from Shopolis to Ballywick, or from Ashton to Baron Noath, or from by the banks to round the head, or from the foot of the bill to Iyer Glint's eye, he calmly extensolis, and all the way a horn from Fior to Fiel in his bay winds, O oh, Bobos shall wail him, rock bound, hoa hoa hoa. In swim, swam, swam, and all the livy long night, the dale, dale, dabbling night, the night of bluey bells, her flit of flute in tricky troches, oh, carinha, oh, carinha, wake him, with her hissavan, essavans, and her padajack mortons, all about them inns and houses, tilling a teal of a tum, telling a toll of a teary, dirty tobling, grace before glutton. For what we are, jibs are gross, if we are, about to believe. So pull the bang and pass the kish for cross sake. Omen, so sigh us. Grand poo-poos is fallen down, but grinny spreads the board. Weighs on the joint of a dash. Fin fo fum the foosh. Was be his bacon head, a loaf of sing pantry's Kennedy bread, and ways hitched to the hub in his taksel, a glass of Daniel Doonal's foremost old doubling ale. But lo, as you would quaff off his fraud stuff and sink teeth through that pith of a flower white body, behold of him as a behemoth, for he is no remorse. Finish. Only a photograph of the yestern scene, almost rubicon, salmosolar, ancient from out the ages of Agapemonides, he is smolten in our mist, woe be canned and packed away, so that the meal's dead off for some and schluck, schließ and good ridge hearing. Yet, may we not see, till the bran toich theon, form outlined a slumber even in our own night time, by the sedge of the troutling stream that Bronto loved and Brunto has a lean on, hiccupat edilis apud liber tenim parvulum. What if she be in flicks and or flitters, reeky rags, or sun dye josies, with a mint of mines, or beggar a pinny weight? Arah, sure, we all love little Annie Rooney, or, we mean to say, love little Annie Rainini. Where under her umbrella, mid piddle, mid puddle, she ninny goes, nanny goes, nancing by, yo, brandrelum slaps, yo, snores. Upon Ben Heather and Sibyl he sat to, the cranny kid on him caster of his reasons, peer yunther and yon smist, whoos, his glaive feet, 
swatted in their de grass, stick up stark where he last fell on them, by the mood of the magazine wall, where our Maggie seen all with her sister in shawl. While over against this belly's alliance, be yind ill sixty, oh lo lo deal, bag sides of the fort, bam tara pam tara bam. Lurk the ambushes, the sight of the lifting and weight of the upjuck and hockums. Hence, when the clouds roll by, jammy a proud's eye view is enjoyable of our mounding's mass. Now, Wallingstone National Museum with, in some greenish distance, the charming water loose food country, and the two quite white villagettes, who here show of themselves so gigglesome minks the foliages, the pretty lees penetrators are permitted into the museum mound free. Welsh and the Paddy Pankinsons, one shalank. Redismembers, invalids of old guard fine, poos poos, poosy proud to save the sort of their butt. For her pass key supply to the janitrix, the mistress Keith. Tip. This the way to the museum room. Mind your hats going in. Now he's are in the Willington Museum Room. This is Prusigious Gun. This is a French tip. This is the flag of Prusigis, the cap and sorcerer. This is the bullet that bean the flag of the Prusius. This is the French that fire on the bull that bang the flag of the Prusius. Salus the cross gun. Up with your pike and fork. Tip. Bull's foot fine. This is the tip of one hat of Lipoleum. Tip. Lipoleum hat. This is the Willingdon on his same white horse. The cooking hap, this is the big throat of Willingdon, grand and magentic, in his gold tin spurs and his iron dukes, and his quarter brass woody shoes, and his magnates garters, and his Bangkok's best and Goliar's galoshes, and his pull upon easy on war shoes. This is his big high horse. Tip, this is the three Lipolian boy grouching down in the living ditch. This is an Eeny my skill in Inglis. This is a Scotcher Grey. This is a Davy stooping. This is the bog Lipolium mordering the Lipolium bag. A Gallagher's argument. This is the petty Lipolium boy that was neither bag nor bug. I say, I say, to Cholet fits to an mush dirty McDyke. And Harry O'Hurry, all of them arminous varminous. This is Dillian Alps, this is Mount Tivel, this is Mount Tipsy, this is Grand Mons Injun. This is the Crimealine of the Alps, hoping to shelter shock the three Lipoleums. This is the Ginnies with their Leghorns, fainting to read in their handmaid's book of Strology, while making their war undeceeds. The Ginny's is queen in her hand, and the Ginny's is raven her hair, and the Willingdon geet the band up. This is a big Willingdon memorial, Galoscoop wound of worker, of cities on the flanks of the Ginny's, sex caliber, cross power, tip. This is me, Belgium, sneaking his Philippi out of his most awful grimace, sunshot Cromwelly. Looted. This is the Ginny's. Has to dispatch for to irrigate the Willingdon. Dispatch and thin red lines across the shore front of me, Belgium. Ya, 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 Lieber Orthrum, fear sicken. Field gaze thy tiny frau. Hug Acton. Nap. That was the tic tacs of the Ginny's. For to fan to annoy the Willingdon. She, she, she. The Ginny's is jilly as agon courting all the Lipoleums. And the Lipoleums is gone. Boy, cotton crazy. Onto the one Willingdon. And the Willingdon get the band up. This is bold Belchum. Bonnet to Busby breaking his secret word with a bowl up his ear to the Willingdon. This is the Willingdon's hurled dispitch back. Dispitch desployed on the regions rare of me, Belgium. Salamangra, aye, aye, aye. Cherry Ginny's fig tree, you. Damn fairy and Woutre. Willingdon, that 
that was the first joke of Wellington. Tick for tack. <laughs> this is me, Belcham, in his 12 mile cow chokes. Wheat, tweet, and stand forth foremost, footing the camp for the Ginnies. Drink a sip, drank a sip, for he's a sooner by a Guinness than he'd stale store stout. This is Rushiness Balls. This is Trench. This is Mistletropes. This is Cannon Footer with the puppy nose. After his hundred days indulgence, this is the blizzard Tara Widars. This is Ginny's in the bonny bound booches. This is Lipoleums in the rowdy houses. This is Willingson by the splinters of cork, order fire, tonere, bulls here play. This is Calmary, this is Flutens. This is Sulfurines in action. This is their mobile, this is their panic burns. Almia de God. Are these too loose? This is Willingdon cry. Brum, brum, come brum. This is Ginny's cry. Underwater. Goat strip thin lambs. This is Ginny's winning away to their austerless dowen a bunker shields. With a nip, nippy nip and a trip, trippy trip so airy. For their hearts right there. Tip. This is me, Belgium's. Tink you, tank you, seal wool plate. For kitchen the crepes in the cool of his canister. Pour the pay. This is the Bismarck of the Marathon Mary of the Ginnies they left behind them. This is the Willingdon Brandish. His same armorial telescope. Sophie Kipo. For his royal diversions on the Renoway Ginnies. Gambarista de la Borca. De la Veras Fimirieras. This is the Pettius of the Lipoleums. Trophy chief. That spy on the Willingdon from his big white horse. The Cape and Hope's Don where Willingdon is an old maximon through many. Lipoleums is a nice hung bush of blores. This is Hyena Hinnessy laughing aloud at the Willingdon. This is Lipsig Dooley creaking the funk from the Hinnessy. This is Hindu Shimar Shin between the Dooley boy and the Hinnessy. Tip! This is the wixy old Willingdon picking up half of the three foiled hats of Lipoleums from out of the blood of filth. This is the Hindu waxing Ranjimad for a bomb shoe. This is the Willingdon hanging the half of the hat of Lipoleums up the tail on the buckside of his big white horse. Tip! That was the last joke of Willingdon. Hit, hit, hit. This is the same white horse of the Willingdon Copenhill.